Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the same deck that I already made a video on previously, but the deck is just that good, guys. So uh, I use this deck to climb from pretty much like rank 30k-ish to about 14, 13k by the end of my stream today. Uh, I am full-time streaming. If you guys want to check that out, it's twitch.tv slash kawa. I have an amazing friend uh, on with me today, and he's actually the creator of this deck, as I mentioned in my previous video, Raven HS. How are you doing, Raven? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. I'm uh, good. Good to see you enjoying the list. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really really fun. I think the the best thing about the list, honestly, is just the wave arrow. And we're probably you're probably going to see a lot of that within the the gameplay, guys. Wave arrow is something that people just forget as a thing. To be honest, I mean, the whole kind of uh, play that you want to be doing with this deck is obviously have Mobius down and wave, you want to wave on turn 5 with Mobius on the board, and then you can kind of do either Arrow, Eliath, and Doom, alongside with, like, a uh, 2-drop, like, say, Jeff. Silk is pretty good. But even if you don't get there and you, you still just wave Arrow, this combo is so good. Like, people are saying that Seron is, like, one of the best lists. Like, Seron Shuri is one of the best lists in the meta at the moment. You have no idea. Unless they do the Shuri Vision, which I know, Raven, you mm. personally know how annoying yep. <laughs> that combo is. Uh, unless they do that, I think Lishi being able to wave arrow is, like, so, so good because uh, it can just, like, really disrupt your opponent completely. And then when you're doing your shenanigans, like, uh, your move stuff with Craven at the start and Silk and Jeff and Angela bouncing around. I do have one thing to say to Raven. At first, I very much criticized his uh, Angela inclusion within this list because I was mm -hmm. not a fan, but I can't lie. It's actually, it's <laughs> actually pretty good. Um... But yeah, what are your what are your thoughts of kind of how, how have you felt playing the list yourself, Raven? Have you found as much success as myself? I think I ended on about a 65% win rate over like eight hours of playing today. Yeah, so um, just another note on Arrow as well. Mm. One thing I found myself using it for, even without Wave, you know, if you just play Arrow on five, mm -hmm. is because you build up a lot of early game power and you want priority for Elioth mm -hmm. mainly. Yep. Um, you can, if they're winning a location, you can just Arrow that location and one arrow might challenge it or two it might keep you winning two out of three mm -hmm. right and then you can play Elioth wherever you want and have that priority to just wipe them out and um, especially if you expect to maybe do him or something uh, so yeah arrow arrow's definitely getting some work done i did make a slight change today but didn't have enough time to really give it some time to see if it if it worked mm -hmm. but i took the nebula and the spider-man well miles morales out should i say uh, mainly because a lot of people were playing Mobius as well. That's fair, Which yeah. means the Miles is like a 4-5, mm -hmm. which isn't the worst, but isn't the best. Um, and I actually ended up putting a Nightcrawler in, which mm. was what I took out for Mobius originally. And then, because you can play Nightcrawler and Angela, move it to Craven. Of course, yeah. And then yeah. it doesn't matter if it dies, because my other card I replaced M Miles for was Killmonger. Exactly. Because there's a lot of decks spamming one drops right now. That there's is even true. even that deck that is literally spamming one drops with like Bloody Squirrel Girl and stuff. So um, I tried that, but I only played a few games, so didn't have a real, you know, good grasp on whether it was worth. But that's another route you can go with that Killmonger if you want. Yeah, I think that's actually a good show because there are a lot of decks running one drops in this deck. Like you said, you just have the Nebula out. The Nebula, the Nebula is quite good, but it's just just a good one cost card, right? I think Nightcrawler. I've seen a lot of people play that card instead. So I think that's definitely a good uh, sub that you can put in. Makes sense about the miles change that's happened to me multiple times today where, yeah. you know, there's been a Mobius on board. I'm like, well, and it's actually funny though because a 4 or 5 really isn't the worst. Like, it's not great, but sometimes I'm like, well, it's just a clean play on turn 4 before I do any of my wave shenanigans. But then if you have a Mobius on board, they have a Mobius on board, you don't really want to be waving because then it's like, well, this is just a 3-3 three, three that I'm playing realistically, right? Because it's right. just it, it means absolutely nothing, so... Uh, one final note I want to say, guys, is if you guys actually don't own a Lyoth, because that's probably the most expensive card in the deck, uh, people probably ask what's the sub for, like, Mobius and Silk. This is kind of the... the uh, This whole deck kind of functions with these key cards, but I said I would say one card that you can sub is probably sub a Lyoth for Magneto if you want. Like, that's probably not a bad change, but a Lyoth is very much a, uh, like, super powerful card at the moment. A lot of people were a little bit upset about the Galactus change that happened yesterday, and they are like, oh, they should have touched Galactus, or they should have touched Elioth instead of Galactus, and I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe, but Elioth is one of those cards where it's really fun when you play it, but it's, it sucks when you play against it, right? Yeah, I think it's just because we've been so used recently to um, a lot of bursty turn sixes, mm -hmm. and a lot of the game setting up for a payoff turn six, um, which is why this deck kind of works well, because a lot of your payoff is actually from turns like 
let's say two to five mm -hmm. right because you go in, in a perfect world let's just say you play nebula on one right fantastic but generally you're looking to go like angela craven in some sort of order on mm -hmm. turn two and three then you go you know like silk jeff or jeff mobius or spider-man Spider uh, yeah. you know uh, on the angela to buff it then move it to the craven so you're actually building up the majority of your power by turn five mm -hmm. instead of popping off on turn six like a lot of decks do right now so that's why elias there to really and doom honestly to just pad out the final turn to sort of fi final nail in the coffin but in terms of swaps yep completely agree like elias you could even put a different five drop in mm. as well you could swap elias for a five drop um but cards i do think are vital um is definitely silk right like that's the one card like you can play this without mobius i think mobius is a just a general good card right now but um i think playing this without silk is probably the scariest factor as the card that is most likely that people don't have is like mm -hmm. silk mobius Elioth, right um but silk is so much power and such a danger to, to the opponent that like that's probably the one card i would say you would need to play the deck or i'll have the deck perform pretty well at least for sure yeah 100 percent agree with you yep guys so i'm gonna jump into the games hope you join the video i'll catch you in the next one bar now uh, bar is not great with this deck have i watched the boys i've never watched the boys fully but I've seen so many clips from it, and I'm telling you right now, I think it's going to be my next show that I'm going to watch, because it is a lot of fun. What is this dude doing? Is this guy okay? Am I getting baited here? What's what's happening? Give me a free win. Is this man okay? They did Galactus dirty. Everyone's really mad about the Galactus change, honestly. I didn't think there'd be that many people that would be, like, so mad about it. Odin's interesting. What if I do Arrow and then Odin next turn? If only I had Wave. I think this is actually kind of fine right now. Because it's going to drag whatever they play here as well with Spider-Man. Guess I can play Kraven too. Oh, this is so, this is such a weird game. Okay. Okay. This has to be good, right? Because they just play on deep space and they probably win. Well, maybe this is better. But then they're, they're never playing mid and they're never catching up here. I'm doing this. Please win. Out of here, buddy. Let's go. Oh, so good. It's so good. Craven. Oh my god, I'm a prophet, chap. I am a prophet. Surprised they didn't change Chavez. So TA, to be honest, I think less power perhaps as she is in like 30% of the decks currently. Is she actually what's the best deck? I'm I'm very out of sync right now, Tantrum. So if you could catch me up, that'd be great. What's like the deck she's in the most at the moment? Cause like the reason why I'm saying I'm out of tune, I thought High Evo was just like a very good deck at the moment, but I haven't seen an insane amount of it. Oh, she just played Craven on no, oh, actually, Craven, they're still fine. Mobius. I think I actually have to play Miles for stats here. Or maybe I should Mobius. Ah, no, Miles is like so clean here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know, I know why you play Chavez. Yeah, it's just I don't think you need to do it, but I understand that as well. Will we see a wave? Let's see. If there is a no, why 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 am I saying what? Why am I saying that? They're playing Kitty Snow Guard shit. Devil. Okay. Nice. This is probably just clean to do, but maybe it's bad. Could also do Spidey. If I move Jeff here, it counts as a move, right? Arrow left's not bad. Yeah, I guess doing this to move Silk back out is decent. Sure. Could turn off a Limbo. They could turn off Limbo. Sure. Oh, they could actually. That's true. With the Snow Guard. What if we do this and they just hope that they don't play on right and they're going to turn it off?
Well, we break mid anyways, unless it pulls Kitty. Does it pull Kitty? Okay. Problem is, I mean, we're so far ahead on left, though. I think we're fine. They can't beat me on left, right? I'll go down to 16. Yeah, light right, and it should be GG's. Yeah, Silk moves, but they, they can't. They, they'd have to do another devil. Okay, if they get Giganto, they win. Okay, it's fine. If they got Giganto, they actually won the game. If they got Giganto off of Fury. I think they got too greedy and wanted big numbers on the board, so they're thinking the easiest path. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I'm gonna destroy Gamer. Yeah, I'd say destroy is probably not bad in the meta at the moment. Nice, it's fine. If I don't get Mobius, I should play Spidey now. Hmm. Oh, it's Nimrod. Why does this interaction not work the way it should? Tantrum, when did they change this interaction? Because I swear this used to work. And there's actually a, cl a conflict as well. We saw, um, oh, myself and my partner were talking about this. So if I arrow into Quantum or into Lake... It will still copy the Shuri buff if they play onto Shuri. But then there was another lo location that interacts differently. And I'm like, I, I wish stuff was just consistent across locations. Now, if this isn't Vision, we're completely fine, right? Because we just do Wave Jeff and then Arrow on Wakanda. But if this is Vision, it's so hard. Do I think it's Vision? No, what am I saying? It can't be Vision. It's Nimrod. It's Nimrod. What am I saying? I'm so I'm so confused of just because I'm always playing against the Shuri deck. Right, if it's Nimrod, it's going to get to 12. And then they destroy. Jeff is fine. I think this is actually okay. Do I snap back? I'm gonna snap back. I think I'm actually gonna snap because I can do a. Uh, I can do arrow left. Oh, it's six. Wait. It's 16. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's gotta be this. Or maybe Doom just wins it. No, they're not playing Destroyer. Are they playing Destroyer? No, they're not playing Destroyer. It's gotta be this. Mmm. Get out of here, buddy. Egg cubes. Nice. We're against a bot slayer. Yay, the Jeffy spam. Kim, I cannot wait to make doggo emotes. We're doing that. We are doing that. I mean, I just have a 2-5 now, which really isn't that bad. Oh, chat, you know this interaction? Chat, do you know this interaction? I can have a 0-5 with Mobius. Chat, are you ready? Wait, do I actually play Mobius on this lane to be safe? No, Mobius never dies on the right. He never dies on the right. It's fine. Mobius never dies. It's fine. Oh, that's good. I think I'm fine to do... Nebula there. Free piggy. Free the piggy. Ah, uh, maybe not. Mm. I think this is just better. Wait, they played their last Carnage? Really? I thought they would have Carnage on Cloning Vats again. It's Mobin time. Okay, we got the Doom. I think I actually just play Pig and Pass. This is so funny. I actually play Pig and Pass. Ah! Oh, this is very sucky. This is very tricky, actually. Do, are they actually, like, going to play another goblin on me? But I have to have Doom here to play something into mid. Don't be goblin. Don't be goblin. Okay. 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 Well, now Doom and Pig is actually a playable thing. I know they have another Goblin in hand. Oh, they're snapping me? Really? I think I'm staying. I should have played Pig first! 
play around leader, you idiot. No, I still got it. Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> I still should have played pig first. It's been so long since I've played around leader. It's been so long since I've had to play around leader, chat. Oh my god. I think Wave Eliath is honestly fine here. Because <sighs> we're probably both fighting for Asgard here. I think this is okay. I actually didn't know it was high evil. I wasn't sure if it was high evil or not. Oh, goodbye, Hulk. See ya. Nice knowing you, buddy. Get out of here.